What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are going to do an Innistrad. Thalia. Village Survivors is a 4-5, but if you have 5 or less life, creatures you control have Vigilance. I don't want to have 5 or less life. Um, Whenever this deals combat damage, they mill 2. We could try to be the mill deck. How has Standard been treating you since the bans? I think Standard is better. I will say that. I think it's much, much better. Erdwall Ripper uh, deals combat damage to a player who won't encounter. That's two in haste. Okay. Hmm. Target creature gains death touch and must be blocked is pretty good. Especially you get two of those. Standard is better. I think standard is, is significantly healthier. If, if, I know I, I just said it on stream, but uh, I'll say it for this video. If you guys are interested in manatraders.com, uh, they have a great subscription service, and they actually just got better recently. You get 15% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. But they also got rid of mana hours recently. I'm just going to check their email that I got recently. I was like, oh, that's friggin' awesome. Um... Recent updates, they increased the capacity, the rental capacity of premium from 350 to 400 and gold from 750 to 850. Uh, those are the subscription services. Um, and they also, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. along with the finalization of a fair usage policy system and a complete removal of mana hour system. So definitely check that out. It's pretty sweet. Cross faded as F. I don't even know what that means, Tanos. Okay, I don't think Tanos is going to get a new job. I just don't think he wants one. Sack a creature. This guy gets flying. If you sack it was a human, it gets plus one, plus one. Um, let's just take Deadly Allure and the 4-5 Vigilance. <gasps> oh, Distended Mindbender. And Foul Emissary. When this enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a creature and put it into your hand. So you draw a card. When you sacrifice it while casting a spell with the merge, create a 2-2. Two -two, or a 3-2, rather. Uh, Descended Mindbender is when you cast this, opponent reveals their hand. You may choose from it a card with a friend of three or less and a card with a cost four or more. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. And the Foul Emissary. I really like Ulvenwald Captive as well. And Boon of Emrakul is also very good, just negative three. But a Foul Emissary is just a really sweet creature. Hmm. And then like the, then this happens, and there's like one green, one black, and you're just like, all right, I guess I'll take Devil's Play because it's a powerful wizard. Um. I'm thinking just take three one lifelink. It's fine. It's not exciting. Oh, Gisela. I like Gisela a lot. I mean, she's a four three, but if you get Bruna, it's just sick. Boon of Emrakul. Good removal. As initial cost, discard a card and sack a creature. Two creatures get negative thirteen, negative thirteen. I mean, that's fine, but like. I'm just going to take the boon. And then we can either take certain death, destroy a creature, and then you drain two. Or mockery of nature, which is a 6-5. That lets you destroy an artifact or an enchantment. Elk Tears and Dance, I don't know if you want to play Among Us after your draft. Want to, yes, but I will probably be going offline. But we should definitely schedule something for the weekend. I would actually love to play with you guys. And I'm sure Katie would too. Exile a creature card from her graveyard, make a 2 2 zombie, and gain 2 life. Wow. Oh. Um. <laughs> do, 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 
Yeah, I mean, we'll just take Byway Courier. Draws as a card, but like nothing else is even good in this pack for us, unfortunately. We do have a red card. I like splashing it, but unfortunately, flashback is triple red, so not really an option there. I'll just take True Faith Sensor. We actually have a bunch of humans that make it decent. Oh, Predator Ooze. When this attacks, put a 1 1 counter on it. When a creature dealt damage by this dies, put a 1 1 counter on it. I'm going to take Predator Ooze. Um, Deadly Allure, number two, could be fine. Especially on Predators. Wow, that's pretty good. Please let me in if it's the weekend. Yeah, you guys are welcome to. I think it's actually Dawn Shredder Elk. I have no two drops right now, but I, I want a two drop. Whenever a creature you control attacks, it drains for one. That's really good. Discard a card. Vampires get plus one, plus one. Um, Wolf can bond is pretty decent. Plus two, plus two, and make a two, two. It's basically knight. The knight card that makes a two, two knight. <laughs> Weed, tequila, and whiskey. Good gravy, Thanos. Good gravy, my dude. Uh, I think I just like Haunted Dead. I don't really want to splash for the campaign, even though I like it. Oh, but we do get to take two, and that might change my opinion, to be honest with you. It's a very strong card. We also have Dawn Shredder Elk. Sure. Here's another Mockery of Nature. Another Colin Mockery of Nature. <laughs> uh, if it's more opponent causes you to discard a card and you reveal that card and put it on top of your life. It's terrible. Uh, each opponent sacrifices a creature at the beginning of each end sip of a planeswalker into the battlefield create a 2-2 that's not going to do anything I'm still more convergent than an average viewer buddy I believe it um, see it's hard to get the sacrifice deck because it's, it's not just it's not just, like, the uh, Eldritch Moon sets, you know. Midnight Scavengers is probably fine. Because even if it doesn't have the, even if it's one of the rats, it's still, like, you can return a creature with the, with a cost three or less from your graveyard to your hand, and we have a bunch of decent ones. <sighs> Conver I was like, Convergent, huh? You got it, Chief. Um, Terraria actually helps us with the campaign, which is probably okay. None of these other cards are very good, I don't think. I don't think I want a second Mockery of Nature. This is a 2-3 with Reach and Death Touch. This is a 5-5 five, five for 5. I'm going to take the 2-3 with Reach because I think there's a ton of flyer creatures in this format. Just curse of thirst what if we can get a bunch more curses is that cool i don't know if that's cool i would like a bunch more two drops is that cool i'm using my phone while sitting outside waiting for someone to call six oops <laughs> donna's i love you buddy <laughs> we have a good time fires of undeath could be fine eh. i'm taking the curse of thirst collective brutality that's exciting what madness cards? Um, I kind of like Noose Constrictor, and I kind of like Collector Brutality. Zombies you control have Menace, Excel a creature card from Graveyard, Credit Two Two. Yeah, we saw this last time. I, you know, I probably could call you right. Curse of Thirst is just horny jail, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's called Thirst Trap Prison.
Yeah, we'll just take Noosey Boy and maybe Dragoon and we can try to pick up... How many packs do we have left? We got like eight packs. We can try to pick up some more... Um, some more... You know what I'm saying. Um, madness cards. Holy crap, that was hard. I like Vexing Scuttler. I also like Wretched Griff. But I think I might have a problem. We're going to take Gnarlwood Dryad because it's it's good. It's a good dude. I'm really tempted to take one of these. God, do they have a Terrarium on? Collective Brutality is probably fine, but I'd rather just have two drop creatures that are also discard outlets because I think they facilitate a plan more in a limited format like this, especially when... Um, I'm going to take Faith Unbroken, actually. If we're already playing Campaign, then Faith has got to be pretty good. Put a 1-1 one, one creature counter. If you have more, put three 1-1 one, one counters. It's actually, I actually kind of like this as a trick back in the day. Um... Do you have any sack stuff to enable Bloodbriar? Not consistent sack stuff, no, unfortunately. I mean, we do have two Eldrazi. That counts. I kind of like draw three, gain three, and like Dawn Treader Elk. But then again, this is actually pretty good. Even without the Morbid, like a lot of combat, you'll just come out ahead. Then again, I like drawing three cards. I'm going to take the... God, I hate it so much. Okay. Let's write it down so we can remember what happened. Match event league. 5490. Time was 1154 p.m. MDT. And we were about 12 minutes into the video. That's so stupid. I hate it so much. I mean, if they're going to insist on, like, not reprogramming that... <laughs> like, I even put it in my 5-drop pile. If they're going to insist on, like, not fixing that after, like, so long, where, like, you can still drag a card and a different card will come down, then, like, just stop it. <sighs> See, this is interesting, because I really like Air Falconrath as a 2-1 that becomes a 3-2 flyer. But we also have no... Like, there's nothing in this pack that's gonna... Like, there's no madness cards, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm getting at here. I kind of like Warp Landscape here if we're trying to splash the white. I, I definitely don't want to play white that early. I think we just want it for the 4-drop and the 5-drop. I would. I mean, otherwise, I take Bygone Bishop because I think Bygone Bishop's really good. Like it triggers like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures, nine, nine creatures. <laughs> it's pretty good. Whereas like this will fix us a little bit. Wow, we could have double Grave Crawler. Oh man, that's exciting. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking Scorn Villager for sure. That's really exciting. Also, Dusk Rest is a fine removal spell. Oh, Gatstaff Shepherd is also great. Wow, this is like the most... Ooh, the battle's right. This is like the most um, two drops we've we've had. Take two True Faith Sensor out. Fester Hide Board also pretty good, just being able to come in as a 5-5. Um, I think we're taking Travel Prep because it's just very, very good. And we'll take Gatstaff Shepherd. Or Geist Catcher's Rig kills a flyer. Travel Prep is so good, but not being able to trigger the white half. I'm going to take the, the Geist Catcher's Rig. No Madness card. Oh, Giza's Bidding is a sick Madness card. 
Definitely taking that. Also, Sanitarium Skeleton's decent as a guy to just pitch. Yeah, I'll just take a Skeleton. We have two more packs left. <gasps> Kessig Cage Breakers is legit exciting. Wow, that card's bananas. I can see cutting the white here just for consistency. Then we lose Terrarion, Faith, and Campaign. I think that's actually fine. I'm going to take this guy for sure. Wow. That's really sweet. Um, I'll just take Spider Grass, whatever. It's a trick. Nothing else is great in here. But then they're like, here's an isolated chapel, and I'm like, oh dang, spider spawning. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Oh, Isolated, Ch Isolated Chapel is great, and especially with Warp Landscape and Terrarian, I feel comfortable. My problem is we already have 25 cards in our deck right now. So I'm like, what are we cutting? And especially if we're playing Spider Spawning, which is a sick one. Oh, man. Prey Upon, also good. Also, Butcher's Cleaver is, is actually fairly unbeatable on certain creatures. Yeah, Cage Breakers is nuts. I'm going to take Spider Spawning. It's another card we can discard and, and feel good about. Um, and I'll just take Chapel because I think it's... If we want to fix, it's, it's fine. I think we can take Village Survivors out. It's easily one of our weaker 5-drops. We can probably board in Mockery of Nature... And again, it's a 6-5. Triggers Foul, way, foul Emissary. Take out Hunger, I guess. I think this is actually too many discard outlets. We can probably take out Dragoons. Now we have, still have Noose Constrictor and Air of Falcon Wrath. Plus, like, this guy's triple green. So I really don't want to, like, mess up our mana too much. But Faith Unbroken and Campaign are still very, very good. I think we try it like this. This is 17 creatures. Plus like a Giza's Bidding, which we can discard with Madness, which is pretty sweet. Midnight Sa Scavengers actually gets back a bunch of guys. Air, Elk. Also, Dawn Treader has a freaking white... Oh, man. Do you have any Prey Poop on? Oh, man. I feel like we can cut... What if we cut Mockery and Foul Emissary? And play Faith. Terrarian. Or not Terrarian. Uh, campaign. And cut one other thing for Terrarian. This is 15 creatures now. I don't know. This seems like a good combination. Yeah, I think I don't think we're going to risk it right now. This is, I think this deck looks good like this. I do like Sanitarium Skeleton, though. It's just an easy-to-pitch creature. No, I don't think it matters, to be honest. 9-8? Hmm. I think that's okay. Predators might be a little greedy, but even if you play on, like, turn 5, it's still just an indestructible dude. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the deck. <laughs> Did Franger of Ghost Car? Yeah, I haven't had Kaminsky for a while. I wish there was a way to add a Spotify playlist as an OBS source. Me and Mitch Stanley staring on the big old tentacle beast alone. This is... <laughs> oh, man. I believe in you guys. 
for those watching on Twitch. This is these are this is Josh and Mitch Stanley here. Staring down the it's only a level one Leviathan, so that's good. An ancient apex predator that wakes to feed every century. Well how convenient. Well here's funny. Josh's hit points are thirteen. The Leviathan's hit points are seven hundred and four. So similar. Basically the same. Uh yeah, we'll keep this. Oh yeah. Oh, Haunted Dead's also a great card to discard because you can just return it from your area to the battlefield, but that then you gotta discard two cards for that. It's a whole it's a whole to do. One of the other uh, advantages of adding the white cards is that we have a lot of discard outlets. So if we did need to like pitch something, we actually have extra cards to do if we don't hit the white sources, if you know what I mean. So like if we have like campaign or uh, faith unbroken and stuck in our hand, like we can just pitch them to like air of falcon wrath or something. I think this is activate this ability only once each turn. So if they have like gut shot for example, and you go to like flip it, you can't flip it again in response. We're also not going to flip this now because there's no incentive to do it at the end of their turn. I'd rather just draw my card, see if it's Giza's beckoning or whatever. Boon of Emrakul. Well, we're definitely pitching Haunted Dead. Not going to waste a boon on a 1 3. Hmm. I mean, I'll probably waste it on that, though, that's for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bing ding ding. Bing ding ding ding. Yeah, let's see what they do. Really? I guess we won't waste Boon of Emrakul on either of these creatures. They have five cards. We have two cards. It's all making sense now. <sighs> wow. That was unfortunate. I really don't want to discard either of these, but I'm going to have to because they have Lilian on the board, so. Oh, God. You like how I paid four for that? <laughs> Eh, it doesn't matter. Now we're going to draw land. That's actually fine. So, like, they're just going to plus Liliana, and we get to play this guy, and we're discarding one of these two anyway. And we don't have anything on board. So, they're just going to make us discard at least two cards with Liliana before we can finish her off. You. <laughs> Good one, Dan's. Solid. Oh, I see. Fascinating. Our playing against Lily. <laughs> this is a... Oh, this is actually pretty decent here. I kind of like that a lot. We get a clue and we get to eat both of their guys without ours being affected. I guess we get to eat one of their guys. Oh, it says must be blocked. Not be must be blocked by all creatures. Sure. That is different. Okay, that's that's gonna be good next turn. I hope. Fingers crossed. What is this modern? Also, this is elk tears. This is, not, you know what it is. Oh, you know what it is. All right, so we're gonna distended mind bender and hope we hit the hope we hit the big time. We have one black. We're not gonna do that. It's actually terrible. <laughs> oh, goody. Well, that's unfortunate. Wow. 
That is really sad. What are they doing here? Discarding swamp sanitarium skeleton. So we would have actually hit nothing because they would have done that in response. So the F and M at home event on Arena is Momer. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> no offense to Arena, but that does not sound ideal. Oh, there we go. That's the ticket. Well. Okay. Still got a 5-5. Five five. But then again, this guy shuts down a 5-5 five five pretty well. Yeah, that guy's fine. What a bot? I don't know what that means. I'm just going to pass here. Okay. Yep, cast that. Block your guy. Seems good. Deadly allure. They're at nine. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, that's, for some reason I forgot about that. It's a guardian high priest and Abyssinian priest. Type target non-human creature. Type target non-human, is this the same card? I haven't even seen this card. That's weird. Three, four, six, seven, eight, yep. Spider spawning. One, two, three, be a lot. Gat Staff Shepherd does not do it against floaty boys. Seems good. Hmm. Okay, Deadly Allure is worse than I thought. I literally thought it was like a lure effect. I kind of like Spider Grasp here.
Untaps too, right? Untap plus two plus four? I think so. Uh, I will keep this. Scorned Villager is also pretty sweet. I always get Gnarled Dry out every game. Oh, we get the flip? That's exciting. Oh, wow. Don't slip me, bro. Okay, they did not slip me. If we draw a land, we get to play Kessig Cage Breakers, which is pretty sweet, because then you can attack for no creatures in the graveyard. We can also Dawn Treader Elk during our turn, sack it for another black, and then get a free wolf, which is kind of cool. Huh, Giza and Giralf. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bing ding bing ding bing ding ding bing ding 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 Kill him dead I got flips but that's fine. Oh what up Mike Great? How much times have you have had what what are you asking me here? Sure. Don't care about that. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, give me them wolves. Oh, that's a fine trade. Ding, ding, ding. What do we get back here? Are they just dead? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems good. Josh, you get out of here. Man, we keep drawing Narwood Dryad. Oh, but oh my god, we have Phalamisari in, into Distended Mindbender. I'll keep this in hopes of the <laughs> double black draw. Ah. <sighs>
Okay. Can Foul Emissary hit his lands? That would be pretty sweet. Making your way downtown all getting fast. Well, I'm pretty sure there's gonna go Liliana here, which is rough. Yep, never <laughs> Yelpy Dilpy. Well, I guess I'll sack this guy. Oh, that's the arena link, Josh. I don't know if that's uh Come on, creature. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, two swamps is rough, though. I don't know the odds of us hitting a third one. Jeez. Discard a card, huh? Let's discard Recluse. Hmm. So three, four, five, six. This is eight. I feel like Mockery is actually going to be pretty good. I feel like this is going to get us back into things. I think it's just got to be Shepard here. Oh, are they going to let me flip again? That's pretty wild. Swamp. Noose Constrictor. Okay, we get to kill Lily. Oh, this guy's vigilance. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. I'm really tempted to just harrowing journey myself. Yep, that's what we're looking for. All right, that was actually a great turn. Holy smokes. So this is going to be discounted by three, five, six, seven. So it's going to cost four. So we should still have enough for byway courier as well. one mana cast with this guy one two three four see what you got wretched griff so you have literally island in hand and our board is insane Yep, that seems good. Oh, they conceded. Well, that was pretty sweet. All right, let's edit our deck. Let's take out this stupid deadly allure because I thought you were better than you were. I think Sanitarium Skeletons are fine add 
Yeah, they played like two spells that game. They played Liliana, Rattle Chains, and nothing else. Kind of weird. Let's get let's get back into it. What up, Assassin HT? Um, yeah, that seems fine. Oh, garbage Andy, thank you for the raid, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. I was like, did we just get raided? We did. Thank you, Andy. Garbage as you are. <laughs> that's just that's see, that's just funny. Oh man. Katie was like, I think I'm getting sick, and I was like, oh please don't get sick. Cause then I get sick. And that's really how it goes. I'm up way too late in New York, but hope you have a great stream. It's only it's only two thirty. It's almost it's only almost three. Andy, I hope you had a good stream, buddy. You should get some sleep. Cause, you know, it's almost three AM. Alright, so we can play foul on this area. black mana one of the things black card that's basically the same as a black mana nothing huh we ain't seen nothing yet we have like 17 to 19 creatures in our deck I'm not sure the exact count but if this guy whiffs I'll cry Ooh, that's not a whiff at all. What do we got here? Heir of Falconrath. Patrician or Shepherd? Um, I think it's Shepherd. I think Shepherd has the highest upside. Plus, I don't have to discard a card for his benefit. Plus, actually, Harrowing Journey should just be good at some point, right? Like, just drawing three when they have not done anything yet is... Ain't done nothing yet. Baby, you just ain't done nothing yet. Nothing, huh? Okay. Okay. I actually think Shepard's probably better than this stupid guy. And plus, if we draw land, we can play two things next turn. Okay, it just resolved. I thought I was... Uh, I thought it was not going to make it. Is there any real rats in the format? I was wondering that myself. I don't think so. B -b -b baby, just ain't seen nothing yet. I'm actually just attacking. With these two. <laughs> Maybe. I don't care if you want to trade for the recluse, that's fine. They both cost four. If you want to spend your next turn making some spirits, some spurts. Three, three. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well. This is two card types. 
got creature, sorcery, that other dude. Well, to be fair, Josh, we still have 24 minutes, but 16, only 16 units plays to get in there. Get your stream raiding on. Yep, 3-2 seems fine. Distended Mindbender off the top. Swamp? It's, I don't actually know the difference. What's the difference? Basically the same thing. It's a lot of blocking they're doing. We've also drawn nine lands to four, five, six, eight cards. Like the thing, I, when I when I when I count the cards like that, I'm not looking for them to be even. I'm looking for the the spells to be like two or three cards ahead. And even if you're one land farther behind, it's pretty bad. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this guy's pretty good, unfortunately. Oh. We could trick discard a land to get delirium. That seems pretty good, actually. Oh, okay. That was unfortunate, but okay. Really? Hmm. Okay, I like that too. Dun, dun. Put up a baby, just ain't seen nothing yet. Sure, <laughs> you got it. Oh, we get to not flip our guy because of the stupid hollow hinge spirit. This match felt pretty good, actually. We felt like we were in control, but then we uh, stopped drawing cards that kept us in control. Oh, good. Ludovic's test subject turns into a 13-13 trampler. Oh, good lord. Man, this is definitely a situation where it's like, where's our uh, campaign? Because that would be real good. Sure. Uh, five or more, so they have to spend ten. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can say they can do it by the next turn. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we're probably just dead here, right? I will make two spiders. Yeah, that sucks. What? Really? What? Instead of making it... 
What? Like, they could have put two counters on it, then put three counters on it, and I'm probably dead. Because I'm automatically taking four. So I go to seven, and then I don't have six power to, like, block. What? That's really weird. Sure. It's very strange choices that are being made. You got it. God. Oh, God. One, two, three, four. It's like they can still do it now. So, yeah, we're just going to go to the next game. I'm not going to sit here and, like... Silent Departure is pretty rough, and so is Choking Restraints if we want to bring in the... Uh... Faith Unbroken. I might just bring in Campaign, though. Campaign seems pretty good and pretty hard for them to deal with. <sighs> Geist Catcher's Rig would have been great. Distended Mind Better would have been great. Let's bring in Campaign. Take out Predators. It's just a little too... Uh... I'm drunk and I thought this was sarcasm at first because it can't be serious and I lolled. Yeah, sounds about right. One. Two chapel warped and we can take out another forest one two actually we can take out another swamp one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven one, one two three four five six seven so this is a seven seven let's work by color Got a little more green and i'd like to add the terrarium as well Why am I splashing Devil's Play? Just because it's like... I don't know. We don't have... Well, like, I don't want to add just a mountain, a random mountain to, to play Devil's Play. I like splashing white a little better because we already have Isolated Chapel for it. And I think this is just better when we have, like, spider spawning and things. Phasmophobia. That is the game. That is correct. Yeah, I'm just going to play it with, with the one Terrarian. Well, I don't even care. Warped Landscape comes into play on tapped, right? I don't know. I will play first. Uh, this hand seems great. Don't have anything to discard, so I'm just going to play Air of Falconrath because... Or, uh, Gatstaff Shepherd because... You know. Raisins. Raisins. Lots of two drops, which is super nice. Okay, let's see. Predator Ooze was one of my first real standard decks. That dude, Vorpeed, Revenge of the Hunted, Strangler Geist. The good old days and green was actually good. <laughs> Not needs to be banned good. Yeah, those are definitely different times. I got a wild mongrel here. I'm just passing to flip the Gatstaff Shepherd. What does it cost? Five? Meh. Sure. Meh. 
Hashtag ban forest. Hashtag ban Simic. Well, this is turn four. We missed one land drop. Let's see if the trend continues. No blocks. It's pretty good. Interesting. Now we're just going to flip Gatstaff Shepherd, keep up News Constrictor, and find a forest. That was Mario music. Silent departure. To the surprise of no one. Oh good, our guy's gonna flip back. Wonderful. Um, I wonder if Distended Mindbender is the play here. Then they just bounce it <laughs> with the Silent Departure they already have. That seems good. I don't want to discard this, but I think this is actually fine. You got it. Forty eight allies on this board. And 11 minutes left. Make sure you guys are placing your allies. 48 seems low. <sighs> sure. Hmm. Really? Fascinating. We're just trading a random card in our hand for this guy, right? I mean, that seems fine. Weird. How does one stream raid? Um, yeah, you just go to the link and it's actually pretty easy and self-explanatory. I will add a black and a green. Okay. Just gonna pass here. I don't feel like I'm on the offensive and they have one card in hand. They do get to silent departure something. We have multiple creatures that actually matter. This costs eight. I guess we could have played land, but I kinda wanted to keep up discards for both of these. Well, 
that's unfortunate. <laughs> sure. Well, might as well get a card in the graveyard and trade. Let's do this guy, I guess. Hmm. Return to the owner's hands because you're just talking to less than you're going to Rhode Island. Sure. So they have nothing in hand now? That sounds fine. So they're probably going to bounce our distended mind bender. Mm, interesting. A bold strategy, Cotton. Cottenos. This is where they go Snapcaster and Gulf to Shore. It doesn't even do anything, right? Fifty nine allies looking better. Sure, you got it. This only exiles creatures though. I mean that has been problematic, especially because you can just exile the creatures and that Sure. It's actually kind of obnoxious. I mean, they can mill twice. Fascinating. It's not what we want to see, unfortunately. Problem is, we can only block the three man heretic, and everybody kills three man heretic. So, I'm really surprised they didn't mill first to see like how big it would be. Oh, you're killing the guy that I get a card off of. Alright. Let's see if you just kill us. Because otherwise, you're probably dead. Well, they can activate this four times. So they have three naturally, so they have to hit seven total converted mana cost in the next four cards. That's not one. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, wow. Okay. That's really good. And they can't hit Eldrazi because those are gone. Three lands. <laughs> Fucking golden. Okay. I like it. That's pretty good. Especially because they didn't cast anything, so they're taking three automatically from this guy. Yep, wow. That was pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. I kind of want Spidery Grasp here. Or Olivia's Dragoon. Both of these are good. Dragoon seems better than Skeleton. Actually, Skeleton's just... It just enables all the... All the things... Spider spawning is good. Like I feel like we have a deck that like caters to killing like flying creatures, but like look at all the things we have to deal with flyers. Like Geist Geist Catcher's Rig, Kessig Recluse, Haunted Dead makes a one one. Spider spawning. Spider grasp now. Uh Noose Contrictor has reach. This has flying. This has flying. Like I definitely don't feel like the flying uh should be doing as as much trouble for us as it is does that sentence make any sense i don't even know i think we should take a five drop out 
I think this guy's really good, especially with the number of two drops we have. Maybe Harrowing Journey? God, three cards just seem so good. God, I hate that we're wasting a slot for Terrarian. Oh, they do have the Exile guy, which makes the Skeleton worse, unfortunately. I also think it makes Dryad worse. Let's take out these two and just keep... Huh. We just keep Harrowing Journey in. Like, I think that's fine. Alright, battle's ready in three minutes after this match. Hope you guys are ready to rumble. If, if we hit any green source in the next two turns, this hand is actually insane. Like two drop, two drop, three drop, three drop. I'm going to, I'm going to give it, I'm going to risk it. We have three draw steps to hit a green. Two preferably. And we're on the draw, so. Hmm. Huh. Come on, green source. Scorn Villager into like Haunted Dead would be just fantastic. <sighs> come on, 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 come on. I mean, we have mana. It's not terrible. Put these guys at the back of the bus now. Now we're just these are our <laughs> these are our heroes now. Yeah, this is rough. Uh... It's like the worst green, but it's a green, I guess. Drogskull Captain's pretty terrible for us right now, though. Better if they don't have a fourth land or a play. They did not have a fourth land. Oh, that's fascinating. And neither did we. Okie dokie. Well, let's get Newson, I guess. I mean, the thing is, we have a bunch of two drops. So, like, if we hit another land, we can play two two drops. Oh, they just slow rolled a planes there. That's weird. Oh, no attack. And no play. Okay. Okay, well, we are... Uh... <sighs> and this is mana, so... Play Hollowhenge Spirit? Sure, 2-3 Flash Flyer. Not a spirit? Okay. Bounce News Constrictor. Stitch Mangler. Okay. Not great for us, but, you know, what can you do? I just want to kind of like kill this thing. One, two, three, four, five. Or we can play Dragoon Byway Courier. Discard Haunted Dead? I don't hate that. Or we can play Foul Emissary, see what we hit. Um, uh, 
Let's play Byway Courier. We're trying to play blockers and keep up. All right, this should be fine. If we hit another land, we can Geist Catcher's Rig, so. That's pretty fine. Coming down to the riptide. I gotta wait to get another one. Let's discard this. Oh, hollow hen spirit. Oh, sure. You got it. Okay, I kind of like that. I feel like our board's coming together significantly better than theirs is. This actually takes three power and three toughness off the board because they also have Hollow Hinge Spirit, which gets a buff, so. And just to be clear, we're definitely at a point where we want to start trading because, because it can't. Dun, 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 dun. If they're just if their turn is literally just playing a two three, like that's pretty good for us. And I am okay with it. See, now we're talking. Um, well, I guess we're going to attack with Rig and Courier. Because they can't block, so. Oh boy. This is going to be a bloodbath, I think. Five, six. Oh boy, if they don't put that other guy on there. Uh, get rid of the two flyers for sure. Yikes. I guess it doesn't matter if they put the other guy in front, so yeah, you just kill two. That seems really good. Wow. Oh my god, but we don't have to draw four lands, so I guess that's fine. <laughs> Six, nine, nice. <laughs> you know, that is nice, you're right. Yeah, sure, don't care. Yeah, I feel like this game is slipping away from them. Um, As long as this guy trades with everything else i just don't care but i think we are killing the fiend binder because it's the only one with three power so now we can attack with this guy and not have to worry just take seven huh okay we're gonna keep the planes in hand because well, we have Dragoon and Noose, Con Noose Constrictor in hand, and Haunted Dead in the Graveyard, so. Uh, that's obnoxious. We're surprisingly obnoxious when we have Kessig Cagebreakers in play. Well, that's pretty interesting. So this guy's three, five, six, so it's called maybe four. Well, I guess we'll just do the deed, right? <clears throat> I 
Like, this is lethal, so they have to block something. Dan's just drafted a four-color party deck that has Omnath and no fixing in it and showed it to me, asking for my thoughts. When I asked, how do you cast anything? She said, I'm lucky. <laughs> Where's the lie? Oh, oh, interesting. Interesting. And we're definitely, like, saving this guy. This guy's worth way more. And we get to investigate. Cast, sack, one, three, four. Put the abilities on the stack. Okay, no non-land cards with three or less. However, don't care about you. That's pretty good. Five humans. Destroy one attacking creature. <sighs> like, you can only do one of these things, right? Near Hearth Chaplain, I care about the least. Increasing devotion. Make five one ones. Like, I don't give a shit about that. Right? Like, no, because we have two five fives. So, like, life, other creatures get plus two, plus two. Alright, well, you're at six, so that's pretty convenient. Let's take the Silver Strike. Like, they can still only cast one thing a turn, so whatever. But, like, Silver Strike kills this in one card, whereas this kills, like, you have to actually put all five in front of this guy. Excuse me. Oh, Harrowing Journey? Oh, so they're just straight dead. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, we're going to Harrowing Journey them for the win. It's still out of tears, by the way. Yes, I no, I assumed that because you said Dan's, and I didn't think she was uh, speaking in third pe third person. I'd say you're definitely Bustin. How does that make you feel? Well, Bustin makes me feel good, you know? Bustin makes me feel good. Bustin, 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 Bustin. Dang it, we didn't kill them with the heroin journey. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All these are fine. They're going to exile our haunted dead in response. You know what? My hand is too good to give a shit. Well, we can't kill them right now. So we're just going to get rid of this guy. Because otherwise we'd die. And that's not cool. Death isn't cool. So we know the one card they have in their hand. We just fly over it next turn with Dragoon and, and cast Towering Journey. We knew that guy. And land. Okay, they're dead. Wow, 2-0. I like it. Hmm. Now we don't want them to gain life because that might actually change our plan. <laughs> Enjoy your cards. Nice. Got him with the harrowing journey. Love it. Alright, let's try to close this bad boy out. Man, Spidery Grasp has been great every single round so far.
Josh, have a good night, buddy. Always good to see you, my dude. Hopefully I can catch you more in the future. It's been a while since you've been a regular, but I mean, my, my, my schedule's been a little all over too, so either way, man, have a great night, dude. I appreciate you, buddy. Here's to three more years. <laughs> Also, I'm going to bed. Love and crafty. Have a great night, buddy. I appreciate you. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over. What's a hold up here? Let's go. Affinity and I are going to stay up and watch some more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Man, Affinity's always here. I'll, I'll keep this because I think Gat's Staff Shepherd's good enough. <laughs> Just going to win the game with Gat's Staff Shepherd. One of my buddies who works at Bethesda is named Matt Grandstaff. Uh, he was the community lead. He interviewed me when I, when I did my interview there. And, um... I always think of him when I see Gatstaff Shepherd. Instead of, I always think of like Grandstaff Shepherd. And I'm like, hey, that's my buddy Matt. Oh, Oscar is that high priest is a real son of a bitch. That guy is a, that guy is a banana head. <clears throat> Kerwit, have a good night, buddy. Well, I'm here till the wheels fall off, or until I get a bit more sleepy. What is it, 319 there? Did you guys think I was joking when I said this guy was going to win the game by itself? Nah, bruh. Oh, boy. Well, we don't have a play this turn, because we couldn't hit a land. Drew more 8 and 9 drops than we did lands. But, you know. That's cool. I'm still here, Garrett. I appreciate you, buddy. I, I would say the, the feeling I feel most when it comes to my my viewers and supporters is, is appreciation. I appreciate all of you. So this guy costs eight, this guy costs seven. So this guy you need a discount of not enough. I'm told I'm all anyone needs. Wow. Whoever told you that, you should keep him. That is a keeper. Easy to trigger Skirdag High Priest if you're uh, if you're able to make a bunch of 1-1s one with Call of the Bloodlord. Call the Bloodline. Call the... Call somebody. Give him, give him a ring. Oh boy. So this turn they can make one more guy, kill my guy with Sinister Concoction, and then activate to make a Zamboni. That is a strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is eight. It's not good. This guy's seven. So yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle, you could say. I don't like pickles. That's not true. I love pickles. <clears throat> pickles are delicious. I was going to figure you said the number one thing you feel about your viewers is nausea. Wow. That's really... Good God. Super Fritz, why are you like this? That's terrible. You guys want to see a sweet house? There you go. 
we could also uh all put in for this house and uh you know move move in if you guys want to split this 10k house it's seven it's a 10 10k 10 mil house 10 million dollars nine hundred thousand dollars so cl 10 million nine hundred thousand dollars so close to 11 11 million but you know if you guys want to go in 11 ways and each put in a mill i think we can do it plus it's 17,000 square feet so that would mean we each get our own uh 1700 square feet so that's kind of cool look they're gonna make one more so that they can attack with one this turn They're like, I'm going to tap this one. Of course, they're just like, get ridding. Get ridding. And they have to discard a card for Sinister Concoction. So they're going to have like one card in hand. That's weird. They're being weird. Oh, they're already paying a life too. So they kind of have to get rid of this, but this deals well with the demons. So it's like, I don't get it. I've got a million Shroot Bucks to throw in. Um. Okay. But seriously, look at this fucking house, dude. It's insane. It's absolutely bananas. Oh, they're killing my... Sounds good. Sounds good. I will tap my vampirinos to do a thing with my... Chicken bananas. Giza's bidding. Giza. I guess we just attack here. No, do we? We're going to get rid of this guy anyway with one of these two, so. <clears throat> or are we? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's... It's whatever. Two guest houses? That's three houses in one. What a deal. That is a good house deal. <coughs> so this can rip their last card out, but they can just discard it to the Call the Bloodline as well. So we're probably just going to play Mockery. Kill Call the Bloodline. I don't know if this is any good. I'm going to be honest with you. I do not know. Ooh, they discarded a Fires of Undeath. Alright, well. Ah, Skrzdag High Priest is definitely a card. See, here's the thing. This is tricky, because now they get to attack with one. And they can tap the other two if we block to make a 5-5. Five, five. I'm just like, nah. I don't like it. Oh, that's fascinating. Oh, it might have actually been... Ge no, we want a blocker for the demon, I guess. I don't think... We I don't know. This is good because it lets us play Distended Mindbender, but... They have a Flash creature, and then they're going to, like, activate Skrizz Dag? Seems good. Seems like a good card to have in hand. I mean, you can make another demon here. I know you got a creature in hand. That's fine. It's whatever. I mean, I'm not gonna... Uh, if... if you... <sighs> <It's>... <sighs> if they don't, it's really good for us, but... They might have just been bluffing. That would be weird. That's a weird bluff. Shove Terror of the Peaks because all of that card in the green are a few days ago. Why would you slow roll that? I don't understand why it would take you so long to play that. You have one card in hand. Just fucking cast it and then make a fucking 5-5. Five five. Like, why, why would that take you so long? <laughs> Good lord, man. Hold on. I really want to think about this. 
Oh, I just want to make sure I want to make like yeah, they literally just won because of Skurz Dag High Priest. If they don't have that, that's cool. Okay, well that was fun. Um, kind of just tempted to play Faith Unbroken just because it's, it's another answer. We don't have the many answers to the friggin' stupid idiot or Devil's Play. We can bring in these two in our. It's got to be correct, right? Bring that guy in. Bring Warped. Take out one and one. And just add one mountain. And now with Dawn Treader Elk. Yeah, I don't love it, but... <coughs> Do you like to play first? For sure. I would love to. Thanks. I'm going to keep this hand. It's not great, but like it, it is Haunted Dead into... I hope we get a two drop and a swamp. That's really all I want. Also, this is an answer for... The stupid idiot... Diagraphable, huh? That's actually good. I like that. It's only $58,000 a month. <laughs> 60 real juicy mayo geysers. Why are you like this? See, this is where the nausea comes in, buddy. This is where the nausea comes in. Mayo geysers, now you're speaking my language. Yikes. This is just a better creature. If you don't want to fly over, that's fine. I'll just easily trade so I can guarantee a land. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, we didn't have to... We didn't have to guarantee a land? I like it. This guy's very good. We actually probably should have booned that. Because if they kill this, it's actually very... Ah, God. I was so intent on being like, okay, if they play... Okay, that's actually fine. They can't even attack here, right? Yeah, that's really good for us, actually. <clears throat> Hmm. Yeah, we just don't want this to get out of control. If they have, like, one removal spell, it's really good for them. <coughs> yep, you got it. Hmm. Play old Sanny. Sanny Claws. Sanny Tarium Claws. Oh, look. Your favorite and mine. Two swamps? Oh, goodness gracious. That's terrible. I'm sad I did it. Well, we know you have one swamp. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay. Don't bring me down. <clears throat> Interesting. I don't think you can play two creatures this turn. Otherwise, you would have played a creature last turn. So I don't think... I'm not sure you can play any creatures this turn. 
So I'm just going to take this. <clears throat> So that seems decent. Okay, okay. So we take one, two, three, four, five, six. Now only one of these is going to die. So we're taking one, two, three, four, five. Go to three. I don't want to go to three. How do we avoid that? Block like this. <clears throat> take four. Go to one. Or we can block here. Take two. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's better because it gets the guy off the board and we're still taking the same two. Yeah, because if they like bump in the night, I guess they could bump in the night and flash it back anyway, so. I don't know. It's funny when you can pinpoint the exact card that, that won the opponent the game. The first game it was obviously Skurzdag High Priest. Second one it was obviously Falconrath Noble. And Bumblethon is pretty terrible. Oh, Fires of Undeath. They can't flash it back though, right? You just have... <laughs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> oh, Lord. Why not just play this first? Like, why fires us? Why not just kill us? That's annoying. Either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out manatraders.com. Great service. They got rid of the mana hours. So now it's just smooth sailing. 15% uh, off your first three months with the link and promo code down below. And also check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. It's a great way to uh, protect your internet, inter internet activity. And uh, you get 68% off in a free month. <clears throat> with that link. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.